Hey guys, uh, Larry here from Perfect Laser. I hope you enjoyed uh, the last um, couple of videos I've done already. Uh, today I will be doing a similar uh, video to um, the spot color uh, video, uh, but in this case um, I'm gonna be doing this video for clients with the RFS uh, machine that runs um, on Wellprint is the control software and uses PhotoPrint uh, for ripping. So we're going to go ahead and um, just open a random image um, uh, on in Photoshop and um, yeah, let's get started. Let's get going. All right. So I'm going to um, open my image in Photoshop. The reason I'm doing this is that um, uh, you will realize that um, three softwares will be involved and that is your Photoshop um, for preparing your image, uh, setting your spot colors, selecting your spot colors and um, your ripping software uh, plus uh, the control software. So we're going to start, uh, go ahead and start with our um, Photoshop file and the first thing you want to do is you just want to make sure that the mode is set to uh, CMYK um, the reason being uh, we're using a CMYK printer so um, uh, your image must be a CM, um, CMYK mode and then the next thing is uh, I'm gonna go um, to image size and then just confirm the resolution make sure the resolution is 300 and also the size um, um, is what I need it to be. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave this at 176.36 by 176.36 since um, I'm not gonna go ahead and print this, but I'm gonna show you um, how to set it up. So I'm just gonna conf uh, click OK to confirm that. And um, my next step here would be to go to select uh, load selection. Uh, click OK. So this selects the entire document and the reason I want to do this is because I want a full white uh, underbase underneath uh, this print. So that's why I'm selecting the entire um, document uh, or image. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is go to channels and uh, add a new spot channel. Um, and call it white and again let's just make sure this is a hundred percent your solidity needs to be a hundred percent click OK and then what we're going to do now is we are going to duplicate this channel and we are going to call the duplicate channel we're going to call it um, vanish we're going to call it vanish and um, and then we click OK. All right, there we go. Let's just make sure both um, spot colors are switched on and are not turned off. All right. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go back to your layers, um, create a new layer, uh, drag it uh, below layer zero and uh, make sure that your foreground color is white and then using the paint bucket to fill that layer with white as you can see it's filled with white here. it's no longer transparent and then the next thing you want to do is merge the two layers together and uh, once you've done that uh, you must remember to save your file as a tiff file so we are going to change the um, file type to TIFF and um, yeah let's just leave it as boho Python. Uh, let's call this white um, and vanish all right there we go and let's save Okay, and okay. All right, now our file is ready. We're going to minimize this, and the next step is to go into PhotoPrint 
and then um, add the job which is here so let's double click on there uh, let's just click add there um, all right and there it is uh, what we're going to do is we're going to double click there on the job and then just um, um, maneuver across these tabs some of these tabs you don't have to change we're mainly concerned uh, with the first one if you want to resize your job uh, that is if you haven't already done that in Photoshop you can still resize it here and um, uh, the next one is just um, a setting on after you have ripped the, jo the job do you still want to see it here do you want it to hold or you want it to uh, be deleted but it's advisable to just hold and leave it here All right in case you have to go back and uh, re-rip okay and then um, this is where you set your um, your passes so what I'm gonna do your ICC profile what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go back to my minimize this uh, go back to my desktop I have these two profiles here um, for photo print that I have all right and we're gonna use um, we're gonna probably use one of these all right I'm gonna minimize here I'm gonna um, uh, add my profile which is on the desktop I'm gonna go to ICC profile all right let's use this the eight pass all right okay and there we are um, the next tab is for our white ink options and varnish options so because we have the white on spot we're going to select spot and we have the varnish on spot we're going to select spot as well all right and then uh, we're going to go across to the last tab and then double click on bot spot colors okay so let's start with the white uh, and then make sure we choose spot white click ok double click on the varnish spot channel make sure you choose spot varnish and click ok all right so once you've done that you have um, essentially um, uh, told the software that uh, you want the white to print on this on the selection you made on the um, uh, on your on your image uh, within Photoshop and same thing um, you want the selection on the spot to be where the vanish um, uh, will be printing all right and then uh, the next thing you just want to do is click on send save your file I'm going to save it under UV files boho white vanish okay so when it rips it rips it as a PRT file all right so let's save this let it rip until uh, probably um, it gets to 100% and then uh, it says done there and then you know it's done so just let it rip um, all right there we go um, great so the next thing we want to do now is to open um, well print I'm not I'm not connected to the printer now uh, but that doesn't matter uh, this is just for learning purposes so I'm going to um, import the file which is under UV files uh, there is my PRT file click open and there is my file set my pass mode to 16 passes click OK oh, before I do that I just want to explain these two tabs if you click on ink statistics this will give you an estimate of how much ink is in that graphic all right and um, um, ink let's cancel that if you go to ink limited you can reduce the amount of ink in your print if you want to all right um, okay 
So that's just that. Uh, that's what these two tabs are for. Um, so I'm just going to leave mine at 100%. Uh, percent, all right. And then just click OK. All right. Um, once you've put your design here, I want you to notice under file information here. If you want to know or confirm that you actually ripped your file correctly. So I've ripped this file for both um, uh, for white color and um, varnish. So under colors, if this design did not have white, it would have full color. It would be CMYK. If it only had uh, color plus white, it will indicate five colors here. If your design is like mine and has all three, you know, color, white, and varnish. It would say six color here. All right. Okay. One more important thing is to make sure that white ink print is selected um, so that it prints white. That's if your design has white. If your design does not have white, then you can untick this. All right. And then if you go to parameters under white ink setting make sure type is on spot and uh, print all is selected all right it's because you are printing all three you're printing your color you're printing your white and you're printing your uh, vanish not necessarily in that order but um, um, print all just allows you to print all all right and um, that's it that's all you have to do and um, uh, obviously you would want to uh, set your margins uh, your margins represent where you want to start printing on both um, uh, the x axis and the y axis all right and um, if you go to maintenance um, and you click on platform control always remember to set your material height it is important to set your material height so this lifts your um, uh, carriage which is the printer head and uh, to allow you to put your material and then this drops the carriage so as you continue dropping the carriage um, you will notice that um, as it as, as the autofocus probe touches the material it stops immediately and then you click on set material height make sure you click on set material height and ok and it sets um, uh, your focus automatically and then you can go back and start printing all right so those are just the basic um, steps you know um, uh, for printing uh, on an RFS machine and uh, I'm pretty sure uh, the rest is um, self-explanatory like your print speed and your print direction uh, all right um, so yeah that's it I hope you guys will find this video helpful um, and thanks again for watching uh, all right enjoy your day cheers bye bye